gonna learn a very interesting topic of the complex number and that is called as the Euler's formula. Now guys, let me tell you that you must have heard the name of Leonard Euler. Yes, the Euler's formula is given by Leonard Euler. Now, what is the formula that he has given? Or what was the basic concept? So he has given us the relationship between circular functions, which are also known as trigonometric functions. So relationship between the trigonometric functions and exponential function so he has derived that relationship and it was one of the most wonderful invention of the mathematics so what was the basic formula or what is the formula that Euler has proposed so here on the screen you can see a formula the formula which is proposed by Euler was e raised to ix equal to cos x plus i sin x or e raised to minus i x is equal to cos x minus i sin x. So it is also called as, here I'll write down that it is also read as cis x. So it is cos plus i sin x. So it is same as cos x plus i sin x. So guys, here if you will see then this power is positive therefore this middle sign is plus and when this power is negative it is negative so Euler said here this e is nothing but the base of natural logarithm then i is the imaginary unit you know the value of i is square root of minus one and x here we are considering x as a real number and x is given in radians so x is an angle here so angle is given in radians so it is possible that that x can be the complex number so if x becomes the complex still the identity remains same so this is what the formula given by Euler's now by using this formula we can get the other formulae of trigonometric function now let's say if I ask you what is the value of cos x in terms of exponential function so you would say just add these two results so by adding these two results i sin x and minus i sin x will be eliminated and we will get 2 cos x equal to e raised to i x plus e to the power minus i x so therefore guys i can easily say that cos of x is e to the power i x plus e to the power minus i x upon 2 similarly if I want to find out the value of sin x, we just have to subtract these two values. So, by subtracting, cos x will be eliminated and here we will get 2i sin x. So, by shifting 2i on the left hand side in the denominator, we will get the value of sin x as e to the power rx minus e to the power minus ix upon 2i. So guys, as we got sine and cos, now it's very easy to find out the cosec and sec because they are inverse of sine and cos respectively. And it is also easy to find out tan and cot because tan is sine by cos and cot is cos by sine. So guys, it means by using the exponential form or the Euler's form, we can easily find out the relationship between the circular functions and exponential function. So, as I said, this was the most wonderful invention of mathematics. We are going to use this invention or this formula to solve multiple numericals in the chapter of hyperbolic function or we would say that in the chapter of complex number. So, guys, I am sure that you understood this Euler's form and now we will start the numericals in the next video. So, if you want to learn more about the complex number and engineering mathematics, then stay tuned to ekita.com where you can enjoy my videos at any time. Thank you very much.